Hi, I'm Clarian Mendes, and I'm a speech language pathologist and a clinical assistant professor in the Department of Speech and Hearing Science at the University of Illinois in Urbana Champaign. The Speech Accessibility Project is an interdisciplinary initiative with one shared goal to improve speech technology for people with a range of diverse speech patterns and disabilities. Led by the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign with support from Amazon, Apple, Google, Meta, and Microsoft, the project brings together technologists, academic researchers, and community organizations to create the diverse speech data needed to make spoken interfaces more accessible for everyone. My name is Mark Hasegawa Johnson. I'm the William Everett Faculty Fellow and a Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering and a full-time faculty member at the Beckman Institute for Advanced Science and Technology at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. The Beckman Institute was created for the purpose of bringing together researchers from many different colleges and many different departments around the University of Illinois. The, um, the Beckman Institute is the ideal place for the Speech Accessibility Project because Making speech technology that works better for people with disabilities requires expertise from people in linguistics and from people in speech and hearing science and from people in engineering and from people in information technology. And there are not very many places in, in the country, in the world perhaps, where you can bring together all of those different disciplines and have them um, sit down together and, and meet together in order to solve problems of the kinds that we're facing. Speech recognition is powered by machine learning, and without diverse representative data, machine learning models cannot learn how to understand a diversity of speech patterns. This project aims to change that by creating the data sets needed to effectively train these machine learning models. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Kevin Kwok. Uh, I am a person living with Parkinson's for the last 14 years. Uh, I've also had the fortune of being on the board of the Davis Finney Foundation, an organization uh, designed to help people like myself live well with Parkinson's today. When I was still employed, uh, um, my IT department was, they were trying to give me various voice activation tools uh, or software to try to help. But I found most of those had limitations. Uh, for instance, if I were to use dictation uh, software, I would spend more time having to go back and correct all the mistakes that were made. And when you don't have fingers that work with any dexterity, to go back and, and edit is in fact more work than you actually can imagine. So uh, while as I, I love the fact that tools and voice recognition are out there, I, I don't think they're there yet to really fully accurately pick up the nuances of someone's speech deficits like my own. Hi, I'm Polly Dawkins, Executive Director of the Davis Finney Foundation for Parkinson's. We are located in Boulder, Colorado, but we serve a national and global community of people living with Parkinson's. The partnership with the University of Illinois is really exciting to the Davis Finney Foundation and to the Parkinson's community. I watch people with Parkinson's attempt to use their cell phones, their tablets, and other technology, and they can't do it very effectively because their hands don't work well. To then try to pick up a piece of technology and use a voice recording and then not have the voice recorded accurately, not even be understood at all, starts to shut somebody down and has a person withdraw from communication, withdraw from their families, withdraw from community. If we can come up with a way that people with Parkinson's can start to re-engage using their voice, it would be absolutely life-changing. If you or your organization are interested in getting involved, please sign up. We have begun recruiting participants from the Parkinson's community. Visit our website to learn more. My entire career has been in the um, pharmaceutical industry where we try to design new drugs to treat 
the issues facing patients today. And this is across 30 years of my career. The, the question is, am I optimistic? Well, when you think about the time frame that it requires to develop a new drug, it's decades. And it's not just short-term years. I would hope that with technology, with the bright companies and the bright individuals that are all getting behind it, it's that marriage of technology and wellness and healthcare that you can provide tools to us today um, for living better than it, than it requires the pharmaceutical industry decades to develop a medication. So I'm maybe even more optimistic about technology companies getting behind this. The Speech Accessibility Project is a multi-year research initiative. This will take time, but we've started something big and we want you to be a part of it.